Hi everyone, I'm Dave and this is how you edit video on an iPhone 12 using iMovie. There are other editing programs available with more advanced features like Luma Fusion, but in this video I wanted to concentrate on a free app that's available to anyone that's just purchased an iPhone. So let's just jump straight into iMovie, press create project, we want to create a movie. I've got some clips that I've got ready, that one, that one, that one, that one, and then you press create movie. Initially it just drops it all straight into a timeline. So I'm going to be imagining that I'm creating a video for the Apple Watch, maybe like a like a review video or something. So what I like to do normally is have a, a bit of an intro with some music. So probably the first thing I would do is press this plus button. We want to bring in some background music. So I've got this song from Epidemic Sounds, which I'm going to use. So you press the plus button. When I recorded these videos, they came with uh, just normal audio, so we don't want that. So we'll press this and then press the little sound icon. So you can see that it's, uh, it's got a, um, like a little speaker with a line through it. That means it's uh, muted. So let's have a listen to that again. So I like to break things up a little bit a few seconds per clip. So say say this was an intro, press the cog icon and we'll have fade in from black. If you press the actual video and press the little scissors and then press split. So that splits it. That little bar there means it's a there's no transition. You do have option of theme transition, dissolve, slides. So after we've split it, this is where I want to put uh, a title. You could say uh, Apple Watch Series 6 review or something. So we're going to have to put in a black background. You just press the plus icon, go to backgrounds, and we want to put a black in. Press the little plus, and that drops it in there. Select the black background, and we want to put some title over the top. Now you can choose any one of these preset titles, which has animation and stuff on. Uh, let's just choose a standard one. If you click it, edit, then we can say Apple Watch Series 6. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. So now we should have... So then we want to edit it, so it probably just as it finishes fading out, select that, split. And then we can delete that little piece and then we probably want to bring in one of the other clips select and hold and we'll just drag that over drop it in there um, for this one we probably don't want the bit where I'm activating the screen so maybe from there so select that again drag the yellow box there until say around by there so that's looking quite good so far and um, try and listen to the music and where we want to do some cuts so probably around there press it again and then we'll press split then we'll get rid of that piece there maybe we can use that particular piece later on so if you just hold and then drag maybe it'll come toward the end or something come back maybe this one hold drag and then drop it in there so perhaps this one maybe you want to be a bit closer it's a bit zoomed out you can actually just press the pinch to zoom so maybe you want it a bit like that and then let's see how we're looking mute the audio so maybe do another cut there get rid of that piece let's try taking this one over next drop that in by there don't forget to mute it. So now I'll, I'll split that one there. I'll probably move that back over here because I imagine this is where you would want to start talking now. This is when you can add a voiceover. You could just use the microphone built into the iPhone. So we want it to be around, probably around there, just as that kicks in. Plus, go down to voiceover. So then this comes up and then you um, press record.
Hi everyone, Dave here. Welcome to this Apple Watch Series 6 Night Edition review. You just press accept if you're happy with it. And what's great about this is actually lowers the volume of the music whilst the talking comes in. If you can move it around, if you press that and then hold, you can still drag it if you want to get to the right spot. Let's see what that sounds like. Hi everyone, Dave here. Welcome to this Apple Watch Series 6 Night Edition review. Now that's quite good, considering it's the built-in microphones on the iPhone. So next I would probably, well it depends what you're saying, if you're talking for, for a bit there then you might want to leave this clip going. But it's just a case then of pressing your actual video clip using cuts and just splitting them up. So I could probably grab this clip up here of where I'm putting the watch on charge, back there. Press and hold, drag and drop it in there. This is just examples, you could obviously put whatever video clips you want here to make a story. And I left the sound on there just to give you an example so you can hear the watch going down and the noise it makes. So it's up to you, you could make this, you don't have to mute if you want to keep the sound in. You could just lower the volume of the clip. But most of the time if I'm doing a voiceover I take the sound out and just have the music. So when it comes to transitions, if you press the little bar in between, you can choose to have none, which is what I usually choose because I like to have the straight cuts. Or you could have um, a dissolve between the two or a slide, you've got a wipe, fade. Um, to give you an example of what that looks like, a dissolve would be like this. Or you could have a wipe. So yeah, it really depends on what you're going for, uh, what style you're after. You can just play around with those and come up with whatever you want really. After I've done that, that's, that is pretty much it. That's how I would go about making a video. So if you continue making a video like this then, adding your clips in, doing a, a longer voiceover, you can add extra music, backgrounds. After you've done all that, then it will be time to export it. And then if I wanted to do a bit of a fade out towards the end, um, I would choose the cog and then say fade out to black and that's how you pretty much make a YouTube video edited on an iPhone. So when you've finished you just press done and then you press the share icon and save video. The video will then export ready for you to upload to YouTube. There are obviously a few more things you could do within iMovie with themes and stuff, but the idea of this video is to give you um, a basic understanding of what you can actually achieve using simple tools within iMovie. Hopefully this has been useful to anybody who wants to edit a video on an iPhone. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Hi everyone, Dave here. Welcome to this Apple Watch Series 6 Night Edition review.